What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the show. One of the things I really enjoy about YouTube is the fact that I can post a video and then you guys can comment on that video and then I can go from there. I can look at the comments. Now I wanna look at this one comment and we're gonna talk about this because I wanna devote a whole video to this comment. So it says, they just approved 14 billion for war. Be honest with the viewers. If they wanted to reform, they could have done it. So, and that's not exactly word for word, but I just kind of uh, fixed it up just a little bit. So when it comes to social security reform, how much does that actually cost? Is 14 billion enough? And just to explain a little bit about the 14 billion that uh, he or she is referring to, they're referring to the house. The house just signed a bill $14 billion for Israel. However, it needs to go through the Senate and it's not going to go anywhere in the Senate. The Senate has already indicated that they are not going to pass that bill. And the reason why they're not going to pass that bill is because there's a pay for, and the pay for is taking money from the IRS and then using that money to go to Israel. And so that's going to be a no-go and the, the president's already indicated that he will not sign off on that bill. Now, what the president wants, we're talking 14 billion, the president actually wants $100 billion. And with that $100 billion, you'd have money for Ukraine, you'd have money for Israel, as well as money for our border. And so that's what he is asking for. And so I wanna start looking at how much money it would actually take in order to reform social security. So that's what we're gonna focus on in this video. But first off, if you guys can do me a favor, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit that little bell notification, and then click all. By clicking all, you'll get notified anytime we post a video. We do daily videos here, so by clicking the bell notification, clicking all, you should be getting updated every day. And just a reminder, thank you for your support. I really appreciate it. And if you'd like to follow me on Twitter and threads, you can at the TEC Show Live. Okay, so let's have this discussion. Now, what I've done is I've created this illustration. And first, I wanna show you how the Social Security Administration gets its money to pay uh, the beneficiaries, okay? Because that's the most important thing for us to, to kind of uh, understand. So when we're looking over on the right here, we see 12.4% payroll tax. So that money, people who are working, they're paying into the payroll tax, that money goes to the Social Security Administration. Now in the past, that was enough. All you needed was that 12.4%, and that was enough to pay beneficiaries. However, now with the shrinking workforce and the fact that you have seniors living longer, that is not enough. It's not enough, just the money coming from the payroll tax. And so now they're drawing from the trust fund, about 23%, and that is allowing people who are currently receiving benefits to get their 100%. And I know you're asking, well, how did the trust fund get its money? Well, back when we had a strong workforce, when we had a lot of people working, paying into the payroll tax, there was money left over. And so this money coming from the payroll tax, you had extra money, and that money was going over to the trust fund, and they were investing that uh, money into bonds. And so that's where you, you have this $2.7 trillion in the trust fund. So that is what we currently have in the trust fund. However, it's slowly depleting because you're drawing from it in order to pay benefits. And so in 10 years, they're saying that the trust fund will be completely out of money. And when the trust fund is completely out of money, that would mean that the only money that will be coming in is coming from the 12.4% payroll tax. And so you'd see about a 23% decrease in social security benefits. So that is what we're up against right now. And that is why you have lawmakers saying that this is, you know, that social security is going bankrupt, which social security is not going bankrupt, but the trust fund will be insolvent in 10 years or around that, around that period. And so that's why we need to address the trust fund, because if we don't address the trust fund, then people are going to see that 23% cut in their social security benefits. Okay, so let's look at the numbers and let's figure this out. So when it comes to social security benefits, per year, the Social Security Administration issues out $1.4 trillion in social security benefits. $1.4 trillion. Every month, you do the math, every month, $117 billion is what the Social Security Administration is issuing out as far as benefits. So when we're looking at this and we're, we're talking about 14 billion going to Israel, 14 billion is not even close 
to enough. That that doesn't even cover if you want to just look at let's say we took 14 billion and we put that in the trust fund. That's not even going to cover one month because now about $27 billion is coming from the trust fund every month in order to pay benefits. And so 14 billion wouldn't even last a month. That's how much money the Social Security Administration is uh, is circulating through the Social Security Administration. Now this amount will go up and it will go up because you have seniors that are living longer as well as you have COLA. So the cost of living adjustment every year, if it does increase, so if you have a cost of living adjustment every year, these numbers will change because it's now costing even more money for the Social Security Administration in order to issue out benefits. And so that's another thing that you need to look at. And so right now, what are the options? Where do we go from here? And you hear lawmakers they're, they're very vague. A lot of lawmakers are very vague about how to fix Social Security. Social Security reform, we need to do something. We need to protect Social Security. You hear them say that all the time. Well, how are you going to do that? The reason why lawmakers don't talk about this is because there's really only one option, and that is raising taxes. That's the only real thing that you can do, because if you look at this chart here, you're seeing this 12.4%. If you increase that up to, let's say, 14% or 15%, now you're pulling in more money, so more money is going to the Social Security Administration, and if we could get to a point where it's a break even, that would be good, but even better if we have a surplus. So if we had a, if we raised it up high enough, and I don't know what it would take, but let's say it's 17%. You raise it up to 17%, that is enough for to pay out benefits as well as have a little bit left over for the trust fund. That's where we need to be. Now you also hear of lawmakers saying, let's raise the cap. So the current cap right now for people who make over 160,200, they no longer have to pay into the payroll tax. And so you're losing revenue in that aspect because if you require them to pay into the payroll tax, now you're able to collect even more money in the payroll tax. And so what some lawmakers are saying is if you make 400,000 or more, you have to pay into the payroll tax again. That way they can uh, pull in more money for the Social Security Administration, which that money will circulate down to people who are receiving Social Security benefits. And so there's a lot of different uh, things that are that they're throwing around out there. Senator Bernie Sanders wants to raise the cap, but started at 250,000 or more. So there, there are options that are out there, but the only real option is to raise taxes, either raising the cap, or raise taxes across the board for people who are working. And just so you understand, when I'm talking about this 12.4%, that's not just from the employee. So it would be 6.2% from the employee and then 6.2% from the employer. And that combines to make the 12.4%. And so those are the real numbers. That's what we're looking at right now. So when you do hear politicians talk about, yes, we want to, we want 14 billion to go to Israel and things like that, just understand when it comes to social security, it's much more complex than that. It's gonna take a lot more money in order to fix the program. And it's not going to be just, okay, let's just send a hundred billion dollars to social security, put that in the trust fund and everything will be okay. No, this money is going to need, the revenue needs to continue to come in. And so that's why the payroll tax right now is very important to focus on because that's where you, what you're going to need to do. You're going to need to have people in the workforce working, paying into the payroll tax, and that money will go to help the people who are currently receiving benefits. That's the only way to do it. Other than that, you're going to have to put trillions of dollars into the trust fund in order for us to see it last longer. So just, just to even look at a number here, they're already saying $2.7 will be depleted, and that's only at 23% will be depleted in 10 years. So let's say you double that. Okay, well now we're over 5 trillion, but that's going to be depleted in 20 years. And so you see, you need to have a revenue stream and that revenue stream is going to have to come from the payroll tax. And so raising the payroll tax will allow you to do that. The other option is to have more people in the workforce, but we also have a shrinking birth rate. And so you have to look at that. Another option would be Immigration reform, 
allowing more people to come into the country and able-bodied working people, those people would work, pay into the payroll tax. That could help as well. Now, none of the things that I talked about on their own will reform social security. You're gonna have to take a little bit from, from every area, maybe raise taxes. They might even still need to talk about raising the full retirement age, maybe raise it up one year instead of raising it up three years. But they're gonna to have to do a variety of different things in order to prolong this program uh, for years to come. So I wanna know what you guys think about this. Let me know down below. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe for more, and I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye.